Okay, I want you guys to see something. As you can see, there's a leaf. There's a leaf there. There's some leaves there. There's some leaves there. And as you can see, there's leaves all on the ground. Now watch this. They're dead. Now, can you grab that leaf and can you put it back on the tree? Absolutely not. Will it come back to life? Absolutely not. Now let me now let me ask you a question. Your old man is like that leaf on the ground. So if your old man is like that leaf on the ground, how then can a generational curse get back on that get, get onto that tree that is alive and living? It can't. See, your old man is dead, just like that leaf. Your old man has no legal rights into your life any longer. Your old man is gone. The thing that has to be renewed is the spirit of your mind. Emphasis, spirit of the mind, not your carnal mind, because your carnal mind is enmity against God. And it cannot be subject to the law of God, nor can it ever be. The carnal mind is anti-Christ. It is the enemy of God, is enmity. And it, and, and it will not be subject to the law of God. It cannot be subject to the law of God. And the Bible says it never can be. Meaning when, when people say, well, you need to renew your mind, it's not talking about the carnal mind. It's talking about the spirit of your mind that came to and with you in the born again reality in the new man that is renewed in the spirit by the truth that becomes known and real in your life that establishes that that keeps you free the truth that you know sets you free see the truth is spirit there's nothing natural about it the truth is a spiritual reality and from the mindset of christ as it says in philippians let this mind be in you that was also in christ jesus it's not talking about the carnal realities it's not talking about the carnal mind it's not talking about your human reasoning and intellect the human psyche what we do as believers filled with the holy ghost is take your take your mind your carnal mind your natural mind your human reasoning and the intellect of man you take the mind that is carnal, that will not submit to God, nor can it ever be, you take the mind slave to submit to your authority, to submit to you. You tell the mind, you're gonna obey God. You tell the mind, this is what we're gonna do. You tell the mind, this is how we're gonna live. See, because the carnal mind, it does not wanna submit to God. And the Bible says, nor can it ever. So there is no way you can renew your carnal mind. It's impossible per the word of God. Impossible. Read the Bible. The carnal mind is enmity. That means it's the enemy. It means it's anti-Christ in your life. You take your mind as slave. Now, many of you all have heard me talk about this. Your soul is idle based upon what is leading your life is what it will and shall animate meaning what if you are led of the flesh your soul is going to cater to that reality if you're if you are led of the spirit your soul is going to cater and walk out that reality so that's why you must be led of the spirit so that your soul uh, models and walks out that reality taking your mind slave to do the will of God because you are and have dominion over it. The mind is not subject to the law of God, nor can it ever be. You take the mind slave. It's not the carnal mind that is renewed. 
it's the spirit of the mind that that needs to be ye renewed by the spirit read it in its context and it is proper uh, um conveying of its word of the word written be ye renewed by the spirit of your mind of your mind the spirit not the carnal mind not the human psyche not the mind the will and the emotions not your human reasoning and the fallen mind the fallen nature and and, and the carnal nature of of who and how it is you used to think and do no you take that mindset you take that mind slave to be obedient to you because you are submitted to god and therefore you can submit to god resist the devil and he will flee why because you're a son and you're a daughter of god that has been given authority and power to walk in and walk out the realities of the mindset of Christ, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. It's not talking about the carnal mind. If you think it's, talk, if you think it's talking about the natural mind or the carnal mind, then you're reading it wrong and you know not what it is you're referring to because you cannot renew the carnal mind. You cannot, ah, if you can, then guess what? The word of God is lying. Chew on that one for a minute. Be blessed.